I coached a second grade teacher who's taught for many years in several different contexts, including abroad. She's had some trouble adjusting to the way that we structure small group reading in our school, and so she welcomed the opportunity to help me with my coaching and receive some advice in return. During our initial meeting, she did, said she did well working with students to help them decode, but wasn't quite sure how to teach them how to comprehend. I observed her working with her reading groups, and then we had a discussion about what support she needed. She noticed that some of her groups really needed support with vocabulary because they have a lack of vocabulary and they couldn't understand the texts. She noticed that other groups had a difficult time thinking critically about the text and thinking about the author's reasons for doing certain things in the text. She noticed that students were not monitoring their comprehension of the text and they were just, they were able to decode the words, but they were just buzzing by them without recognizing what they were or paying attention to the meaning. When discussing these concerns with her, I immediately was able to think of some strategies. I gathered some background information about the strategies I chose for her to try. One of them was click or clunk. I used the website at the bottom of the page to gather some information to give to her. Another was vocabulary instruction. I used the IES practice guide, teaching academic content and literacy to English learners in elementary and middle school to give her some information about vocabulary instruction. And I used questioning the author, the website at the bottom of this page, uh, to give her some information about using questioning the author to help build that critical thinking in her students. We reflected on her lessons and she told me what happened in her groups when she was incorporating two of the three strategies. Um, when she started questioning the author, she had a discussion at first about how the author makes decisions and then puts that in the book based on the decisions that he or she made. And then she asked the students, why do you think that they make those decisions? They practiced with a couple of books and then the students had another try using a book about wolves and the students were more comfortable answering these types of questions. When she used click or clunk, she thought the students thought it was silly at first and they giggled. Um, and then they started saying the words click or clunk while they were reading. But then she said that after that, they stopped saying the words, but they were still stopping and monitoring their reading without saying click or clunk. Um, I liked the fact that you could see the gradual release of responsibility with this one that the students recognized that this was an important thing for them to do, but they stopped saying the word, but they got the point. My two big takeaways were that time was an issue. It was really hard um, to be the instructional leader when I had my own classroom and our schedules didn't really mesh well. We had a lot of meetings. We were always trying to meet before school or after school, but we had conferences. There were just a lot of things happening that made it difficult for us to physically meet in person. Um, the other takeaway is that it was really great to share my knowledge with a willing participant and it made me think of how everyone can benefit what others know if they're given the time to do it, but also if they're willing to receive that knowledge and incorporate that knowledge in their own classrooms. Overall, this was a positive experience for me, and I hope it was a positive experience for the teacher that I was coaching as well. Um, I learned that I, I've learned a lot in this course and was able to give a lot of really good strategies for her to use when she told me what struggles she was noticing in her classroom.